Hello there and welcome to the new tutorial where we will going to look at the numeric slicer. So numeric slicer is a very useful feature or a very useful control for filtering the data. So think about a scenario where you need to or your user is basically asking you to provide let's say a filter where they can select the start of the range and end of the range let's say for example the sales and they want to look at within a specific range what are the different products that are being sold so for example uh, say products which are having the low value of sales product which are having the medium value of sales and the high value of sales because that opens up a new opportunity to look at your data from a different perspective and we will see in this video how we can create a numeric slicer which is also a very straightforward if you have already seen the other slicers that we have created we will create going to create in a similar way this slicer and uh, filter the visualization so let's go ahead and go into the power bi and create it so here we are within the power bi and i'll just click outside and uh, select this slicer once we have this slicer what i will going to add is the sales once i add the sales it will add like a range so if you remember from the previous video we when we added the dates it added the date as a range as a default so similarly over here we have the option of uh, having or it has power bi has the default option of giving you the slider for the uh, range of values for numeric values now if i want i can reduce the values to so the sales is starting from 2.24 and going all the way to 13906 and in this case it shows that these are the various products which has been sold in this category or if you want to further reduce it let's say to just 3000 you will see the various products which has been sold and now it's a different information altogether for example if you see the bookcases it has some negative value which probably go in a way to to identify what is going on over here so that's one thing that that it you can uncover with the help of the slicer Another one is, let's say, some medium size products that you are uh, looking for. So, for example, sale between uh, 31,000 and 55,000 is, is only for copier and fax and office machines. So, that means these are some of the very high value product or medium high value product which is being sold. Then you can go in the end, which is 89,000 and starting with the 67,000, again, office machines are coming as the products where you have the highest sales so this uncovers as i mentioned it this uncovers a lot of valuable information and then it is up to you how much we want to massage the information for those negative values as to keep the negative values different and uh, positive values different but that's more of an advanced thing but here we have the option by which we can make sure that we can look at a specific segment of the data by adjusting the ranges if you want to clean it like earlier the date slicer we can clean it with the help of this clear selection also from this drop down you have the option of between you have the option of using it as a list for each value you have the drop down that will going to save the space for you you can select this value for each of the different products as the sales is present for each of the product also a uh, couple of others like uh, less than or equal to that means the minimum is fixed you can change the maximum that way you will see that right from the start to a given range of your interest what are the different values that is coming and opposite for this is greater than and equal to which is by default uh, fix uh, the higher value is fixed then you can just adjust the start value and see what are those values which are coming in so if you adjust it you will start seeing your entire dashboard or your report which is you know half created report that we have right now is is being filtered over here also like the text filter and the date filter we have created the hierarchies here also you can create the hierarchies by let's say along with the sales you may want to have or you are having an interest of quantity as to what the quantity that is being sold you want to filter that so now you have the option by which you can select this information and as we make the changes you will see 
that over here we only get the two different options that means your option within the list box as to how it will be shown to you will be changed so let's say we want to see it as a drop down and within the drop down we we get this information of different products let's say for this particular product the quantity is just three for uh, maybe a one particular order so we will just click over here and it shows you the product information that binders uh, and binder accessories and what has been its value which is in a negative 14.16 but just to show you that this is the flexibility that we have uh, by which we can display the information even as in hierarchy if you have something meaningful hierarchy for you that you may want to look at as part of the information presentation on the dashboard so that's about how you can create the various different slicers within the power bi and like i have shown you earlier if you have a need to format it you can always come here in the formatting option like the slicer header option or the selection control that we looked at whether we want a single select or multi-select all of these options are available like select all uh, that you can change and explore with the help of the options which is given over here and uh, pretty straightforward and if you have any question you can put it in the comments and i will respond to you so that's about it and now let's meet in the next topic